Hi there. Thanks for your questions about the air gap seals. These seals are going to be installed with the holes uh, facing inboard. So in other words, holes facing the inside of the car. The solid side of the seal will, will be towards the bearing. So um, uh, press them in uh, just like that. The way the seals uh, an air gap seal works is it, 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 it creates an air wall. Um, that, that prevents the debris from getting up inside the hub. Kind of like when you walk through the grocery store and, and they're blowing that air curtain down uh, so, so bugs and things won't get in. That's kind of the concept here. We have kept the idea of the seal really close to the spindle snout, so it's, it's important that you, that you install the seal in, in the hub square so it's, so it's good and square. Um, uh, and anytime you use the air gap seal, you will need to service the bearings a little more often, uh, uh, possibly, it depends on what your service intervals are, but, but I wouldn't go, but um, uh, uh, I would probably want to service my bearings every, every two to three races um, if I'm using an air gap seal, where with the, uh, a, a traditional seal you can go further because nothing can get through. But um, uh, that's how they work. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to uh, shoot us an email, uh, support at DRP Performance, or give us a call, 888-399-6074. Thanks.